Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, function notation. So I would like you to take a look at the try this. It's just an evaluation, basic evaluation. So put me on pause and try those two problems, then come back. Okay, so let's see what you got. So it says here to evaluate 3x squared minus 6 when x is equal to 4. All right, so what this means to do is wherever you see an x, Wherever you see x, you're going to plug in 4 and then evaluate. So I have 3 times 4 squared minus 6. So you could just plug that in your calculator. 3 times 4 squared minus 6 is equal to 42. All right, and the same thing over here. We have evaluate. The, these are absolute value symbols. Th the absolute value of 3x plus 5 when x is equal to negative 3. So we have the absolute value of 3 times negative 3 plus 5. So it's the absolute value of negative 9 plus 5. So negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. So it's the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. So remember, absolute value is how many spaces on the number line a particular number is. So the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 because negative 4 is 4 spaces from 0 on the number line. Okay, so let's talk about uh, uh, function notation here. Okay, so over the past couple of years you've seen uh, function notation many times. So when you see function notation, you've seen it as I'm sure f of x, we've probably seen it as f of x multiple times. Uh, so we've seen it as f of x, you could see it as g of x, uh, h of x. Um, you really could use any variable to represent a function. And all function is, is um, just something, let's just say, on the graph that passes the vertical line test. Okay, so when you see, though, f of x, this guy right here, So f of x uh, does not indicate multiplication. So this f and then the parentheses, the x right here, this does not mean that it's multiplication. So it does not indicate multiplication. All right, so f of x... What that means, f of x, it means the y value or the y coordinate of a point. All right, so look at this example down here, this equation. So when you have a function, you have this input output that's going on. Right in here, your x, whatever is there, that indicates your x value. That's your input. So this here, f of x, that's your y value. So that's your output. Your output comes from here. So 2x plus 5 is your y value. So when you plug in your x value into this x right here, you plug your x in, evaluate, and then 2x plus 5 will give you your y value. So f of x, f of x is equal to y. So I have an x value, I have a y value, I have an input, I have an output. All right, so let's take a look at these uh, examples down here. All right, so let's take a look at number one. We have f of x is equal to 6x minus 3, and I'm evaluating f of negative 4. So f of negative 4, this is my input. So that's saying x is equal to negative 4. When it, says, when it says f of negative 4, this is your y value. So I'm finding my y value when my x value is negative 4. 
So f of negative 4, wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in negative 4. So 6 times negative 4 minus 3. And, of course, you could plug that into your calculator if you want. And you get f of negative 4 is equal to negative 27, which means my input or my x value is negative 4. My y value is negative 27. That's my output. All right, let's try uh, example number 2. All right, so I have g of x is equal to 2.3x squared minus 5.12x plus 9.548. And I'm looking for g of 3. So my input is 3. I'm looking for my output, my y value of g. So I have 2.3 times 3 squared. And I'm just going to move this over a little bit. Minus 5.12 times 3. plus 9.548, and again, you can plug that in your calculator. So what's my output? What's my y value when my x value is 3? Plug that in your calculator. Give you a second to plug it in. And we get 14.888. So when my input, my x value is 3, my y value, my output is 14.8388. Sorry. So x is equal to 3. My y is equal to 14.888. All right, let's try example number three. All right, so we have h of x is equal to the absolute value of 12x minus x. And we're looking for h of negative 2. So when my input is negative 2, I have the absolute value of 12 times negative 2 minus a negative 2. So I'm looking for my y value when my x value is negative 2. Uh, so this, so you could plug in what's inside the absolute value, and you get uh, 26. So the absolute value of 26 is 26. So my x value is negative 2. My y value is 26. My input is negative 2. My output is 26. Okay, so now let's go around. Let's go the other way. So let's take a look at these problems down here these solving types of problems. So I have my f of x, my function is equal to 2x minus 7. And remember, this is y. It's saying f of x is equal to 13. So what is that saying? y is equal to 13. It's not saying, it's not x equals 13. That's not what it's saying, okay? x is not equal to 13, okay? It's y is equal to 13. I'm looking for my x value. I'm looking for x when my y is 13. What's my y value? Well, my y value is 2x minus 7. So my y is 2x minus 7, and my y has to equal 13. So 2x minus 7 has to equal 13. So I'm going to add 7. 2x is equal to 20. So x is equal to... 10. So I have a point. So when my y value is 13, my x value is 10. All right, and the same thing over here. It's saying find the y value. Oh, sorry, find your x value when your y value is negative 2. So remember, this is my y value. So y is equal to this guy here. So negative 2 is equal to 1 fourth x plus 6. So I'm going to minus 6. Negative, two, negative 8, sorry, is equal to 1 fourth x. Uh, hopefully you remember to get rid of a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. 4 over 1, both sides. Uh, you could divide both sides by the fraction 1 fourth, but just make sure you use paren uh, parentheses around the fraction. So negative 4 times negative 8 is negative 30. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice more in class tomorrow. Have a good night.